English for teachers. Unero, niche English expression school o English shikho gon class e babohar korben. Welcome to English class. Let's learn together, Denisha. Safwan, please read aloud. Azan, spell the word. Yeah, I'm spelling, but what I have to spell? I don't know. Okay, that's just a sentence. Don't be serious. Okay, Maimuna, what's the meaning? Aisha, use it correctly. Nasaiba, can you explain? Zareen, write a sentence. Simreen, practice pronunciation, please. Shizda, listen and repeat. Azbain, let's review grammar. Azora, share your ideas. Priyansi, what's your opinion? Rajasri, analyze the passage. Alina, summarize the story. Rafika, let's analyze characters. Doa, write a descriptive paragraph. Denisha, please write neatly. Safwan, underline the verb. Azan, highlight the noun. Which noun are you talking about? The noun in this sentence. Um, here it's Azan. Again, my name. I don't have a highlighter. But I will highlight it later. All right. Set one. Maimuna, find the adjective. Aisha, circle the adverbs. Nasaiba, complete the sentence. Zareen, match the synonyms. Simrin, identify the antonyms. Shizda, create a dialogue. Azmain, Construct a paragraph. Azora, rewrite this sentence. Priyansi, form a question. Rajasri, correct the spelling. Alina, capitalize the proper nouns. Rafika, punctuate the sentence. Dua, identify the simile. Venetia, find the metaphor. Safwan, Analyze the theme. Azan, interpret the symbolism. Maimuna, compare the characters. Aisha, contrast the settings. Nusaiba, discuss the plot. Zareen, analyze the conflict. Set 2. Simrin, explain the resolution. She is the illustrate the climax. As mine, identify the point of view. Zora, analyze the tone. Priyansi, summarize the main idea. Rajasri, read between the lines. Alina, make connections. Rafika, analyze literary devices. Or, write a persuasive essay. Anisha, revise your work. Safwan, use descriptive language. Azan, write a narrative. Okay, I'll write later. Because I'm recording now. Alright. Maimuna, proofread your writing. Aisha, edit for grammar. Nasaiba, Check your punctuation. Zareen, use strong verbs. Simrin, create suspense. Shizda, develop your characters. Azmain, write a dialogue. Azora, explore new vocabulary. Rafika, read more books. Doa, participate in discussions. Danisha, listen. Attentively, please. Safwan, take notes carefully. Azan, review the lesson. Maimuna, ask questions confidently. Aisha, share your ideas boldly. Nasaiba, 
Respect others' opinions. Zareen, present your work confidently. Simran, speak fluently, please. Shizda, work collaboratively with others. Tanisha, read aloud, please. Safwan, define the word. Zan, use it creatively. Maimuna, practice speaking fluently. Aisha, analyze this poem. Nusaiba, correct your spelling. Set 4. Zareen, write a story. Simran, identify the theme. She's the drip discussion time. As mine, grammar rules review. Azora, storytelling challenges today. Riyanthi, peer editing exercise. Rajasri, practice your pronunciation. Alina, share your thoughts. Rafika, creative writing prom. Oa, let's learn together. Safwan, what's the plot? I shall use metaphors creatively. Nasiba, write a dialogue. Zareen, annotate the text. Danisha, read silently now. Maimuna, identify light. Maimuna, identify literary devices. Simrin, present your essay. Shizda, practice verb tenses. As mine, group brainstorming activity. Doa, improve your vocabulary. Set 5. Alina, analyze character development. Rajasri, let's act it out. Azora, find synonyms here. Riyanthi, punctuation marks matter. Azan, let's write poetry. I'm saying myself to write a poetry together. Rafika, share your favorite book. Aisha, editing skills check. Nusaiba, use adjectives wisely. Thanisha, explain this idiom. Simran, grammar quiz time. She's the Oral Storytelling Session Maimuna as a Structure Review Dua, let's discuss themes Alina, Critical Thinking Required Zarin, Literature Circle Discussion As mine, Practice Active Listening Priyanthi, Compose a Letter Rafika, Interpret the Symbolism Rajasri, Create a Persuasive Piece Zora, descriptive writing challenge. Zon, identify similes used. Simran, group poetry writing. She's the proofread your work. Reading story. Once upon a time, in the enchanting world of story vial, there was an English class taught by the wise teacher. Yasir, with a warm smile, Yasir welcomed his students, saying, Welcome to English class, my dear learners. Today, we will learn together. Danisha, eager to start, raised her hand, and Yasir encouraged her. Let's learn together, Danisha. What would you like to know? Safwan, known for his expressive reading, was asked by Yasser. Safwan, please read aloud for us. Let your voice bring the words to life. Azan was called upon next, and Yasser requested, Azan, spell this word for us. Let's practice our spelling skills. When Maimuna seemed uncertain about a word's meaning, Yasser gently asked Maimuna, What's the meaning of this word? Share your understanding with us. Aisha, always attentive, was tasked with using the word correctly in a sentence. Yasser said, Aisha, show us how to use it in context. Nusaiba, with the excellent comprehension skills, was asked, Nusaiba, can you explain this passage 
to the cloth. Help us understand its deeper meaning. Zarin, the creative writer, was encouraged by Yasir, saying, Zarin, write a sentence using your vivid imagination. Simran, with a clear enunciation, was asked to practice pronunciation, and Yasir said, Simran, please repeat after me and focus on your pronunciation. Shizda, a good listener, Simran, please repeat after me and focus on your pronunciation. Shizda, a good listener, was requested to listen carefully and repeat the sentences after Yasir. As he said, Shizda, listen and repeat after me. Pay attention to the intonation. Yasir continued to engage his students, calling upon Osmine to review Grandma Azora to share her ideas, Pyonthi to express her opinion, and Rajasri to analyze a thought, provoking passage. Alina was assigned the task of summarizing a captivating story, and Rafika was invited to analyze the characters within it. Noah, with his descriptive skills, was given the opportunity to write a paragraph that would paint a vivid picture in the reader's mind. Yasi reminded Tanisha to write neatly, and Safwan was instructed to underline the verb in a given sentence. Lastly, Azan's task was to highlight the noun in another sentence. In Storyville's English class, Yasir nurtured a love for language, encouraging his students to read, write and express themselves with confidence and clarity.